in hen capes in a bit more detail. Um, this is just a selection of Herbert Minor hen. Next. There's something like a cross between a hen and a cock hackle. Um, stiffer than, stiffer and brighter than most hens, hackles and uh, you tend to only get these in natural colours and dun colours. You know, you have a size range that ranges from about size 10 to about size 18 or 20 in each cape. This is the Herbert Minor cape. This is a, a Badger variant. Got quite a lot of very nicely marked feathers. So because you can tie three or four flies from each feather generally, they represent quite good value for money. Moving over to the standard white in hens in the natural colour. Uh, these again will do three to four spider patterns from each hackle. What you'll find with most of the white in hen necks is if you have like a green wilt on badger, the colour will be true right down to the very smallest size, which it is here, which is about an 18 or 20 size hackle. Um, but you won't find anything really bigger than 10, possibly 8. Uh, hook size on these necks. This is a standard white in on the red label. This is a honey dun which is really nicely marked, very difficult to get in a in a cock cap or quite like this. This will tie quite good quality dry flies there. I'm into an interesting one now, the American black laced hen. In the smaller size, this feather has like a, a badger appearance, it's dyed yellow as you can see. But in the larger size, the black edging goes to the edge and the badger part, so the, the pattern is almost reversed. That's uh, Another one in the dun dyed shade as well. These don't represent all the colours that's available in this feather. I've just, I've just put a, a sort of a representative of the type of feather. The uh, laced hen next uh, uh, again, particularly striking. So you've got that interesting thing in the bigger sizes, how the black centre disappears and the black's on the edge. And you've got some what appear to be really nicely dyed badges at the base on the smaller flies. From Lakeland is a range of exclusive hens, which are, are still white in, but you get the little pads of uh, feather material at the top of the the cape which is uh, rather nice so you get these uh, smaller rounded more dense feathers plenty of those and again you can see that the dyed colours which are beautifully dyed are very long uh, and you can do palmer flies with these hen uh, feathers and you can also do like this one here, a soft hackle dry fly uh, with the hen necks that uh, 
work quite well when you want to, to fish with the merger type pattern. This is one of uh, Lakeland's exclusive dyed capes and these offer good value for money because you've got these pads at the side here which are full of feathers. So if you can find the uh, colour that you want, I think they're better value than the standard uh, white in neck. Another one of Lakeland's specialty is their dyed grizzle range. So that's one of the pad feathers at the top of the neck. And that's a couple of colours there. They have these grizzles in about 10 different shades. And this is uh, one of Lakeland's uh, dyed grizzle hen necks. They're quite striking. Quite a nice thing to introduce uh, front tackles on bumbleflies and uh, various rainbow lures. You have some, make some pretty nice streamers out of those as well. Now we're moving on to the Brahma hens which in the hackles resemble a, a dyed badger but the little top pads of feathers there have a look of partridge and that's a partridge and orange which I've, done, which I've tied using one of those feathers. It, it makes a passable imitation of a partridge feather. This is a Brahma. Uh, cape. More or less this dyed one looks pretty close to a green one's and you've got all these lovely dappled mottled feathers at the top here which do quite a reasonable job for like partridge and grouse substitute. If you need to tie larger flies like uh, rainbow, salmon, steelhead flies, uh, that kind of thing the whiting four B's, bigger, bolder, brighter, or whatever that stands for, um, have hackles that will go right up to sixes and fours. These aren't quite so long, they're a, a, a smaller hackle, not really a genetic hackle, they're poultry that's used for food, um, but still the capes are quite large and uh, usable for general fly tie. This is one of the four B's, bigger and better bolder things or whatever they call them. We've got a lot of big feathers, they're all largish feathers on these pads here and a reasonable amount of small feathers here. I would say you go down to about in the larger size, which will go up to sixes and fours or even bigger, uh, they're all sort of mottled and uh, speckled. When you get down to the smaller end of the feathers, which will do like 14s and 12s and so on, they tend to just be virtually plain or badgerish in appearance. I use these larger feathers a lot for doing this kind of what they call wonder wing style and dry fly tying. very sort of um, dull compared to the top feathers. They're, they're quite ethereal, quite wispy. Um, good for head hackles on nymphs and so on. And the larger hackles are beautifully dappled. I've done some salmon shrimp flies using these feathers. So now is what I plan to do in the future, which is to have quite a few reviews on fishing reels, camera equipment, that I bought, some of it um, quite old by today's standard, but it's still extremely useful 
and ideal to have a bit of fun with. And also bought this year um, an inflatable boat and an electric outboard. So I'll be uh, covering that in depth, telling you of all the pros and cons that were found. Uh, everything I show or review, I've bought with my own 